Hey Simleys and welcome to part 16 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Twins. I'm really excited for this part because I actually have a surprise for you guys which you may notice from the title, I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we do have some very exciting plans for this LP. It is about to get so juicy. I'm just enjoying this LP way too much and have some saucy things to happen but before I explain them uh let's just say everybody who's remembered to have their tea for this LP tea twins LP we always drink tea as of a few parts ago so everyone take a sip cheers ah, delicious I'm having Earl Grey today which are you having and by the way in the last part um oh, Esmeralda loves napping in <laughs> Laurie's room which I just uh redid um, but anyways, in the last part, Lenny LaFace, I think that's how you say your name, you were like, I'm drinking blueberry muffin tea. Blueberry muffin tea? Um, can you send me some? Because I've never had that and it sounds so good. Uh, Niles, Niles, Niles. Look after your kid. Um, Kuat. Is this little Thorn? No, that's Max. Thorn is the more pale one. God, baby's crying is the worst, I swear. Oh, poor Niles. Poor Niles. Uh, but yeah, a lot of you guys wanting to meet the twins' actual mum, because she does exist in this LP. Uh, that was Jamar, Jessica S. Dominyakas was asking who she was. And she will be revealed soon. She will be revealed. Some of you guys have already guessed her. Uh, and then Mariana said all of this stuff going on between, like, Esmeralda being evil and stuff, it's a good time or a perfect time for the twins to actually get a little bit closer, she thought. Love this outfit on Arya, by the way. She's in a very jolly, energized mood. Love it. Oh, I did have Jace come over for a little while to hang out with her, but uh, he's gone home. He's her boyfriend. Um, and I did actually want... I wanted, I wanted, I wanted Eric to come over. I'm not sure if he ended up coming over. Oh, she was bald for a second. Oh, he's busy right now. Whatever, whatever. Uh, well, we could get her to maybe, we can't really get her to level up in anything there so maybe we can just invite a friend for her to hang out with uh dina oh let's get cassandra to come over there biffles hey biffles okay uh and also beauty supply 88 wanted their mom to crash lionel and esmeralda's wedding so we will need to get him to propose in this part um but probably my favorite piece of feedback was by Pokel. I think that's how you spell your username. And that's what the surprise actually is in this LP. Are you guys ready for this? Uh, okay. So I'm going to have to have another sip of tea to get ready for this surprise. This is awesome. Okay. Downstairs in um, Niles, like bedroom down here in the basement, we have a bookshelf secret door, right? So the theater room's right here over the other side of the wall. You go into Lionel, uh, Niall's little butler room. You go through this door and bam, what is that? It is a corridor that goes to a dungeon. So we're actually going to have Esmeralda trap either the girls in the dungeon or Lionel down here. So there's actually just like a bed and a toilet and this little window that actually looks out into the fountain that goes up to the middle of the house. So that's the only little bit of light window that's in there. And behind this wall, if you actually break it down, in here is where she keeps all of her diamonds and there's elixirs and there's also a death flower right here and the knife she wants to kill someone with. I know, it's getting a little bit dark. Oh, it's almost Max's birthday, cute. So just as an overhead view of that, we've got theatre room, you go through this secret door right here through Niall's bedroom to get through the dungeon uh, area. So these walls came from get to work, which is kind of fun. Anyways, so my big plan for this LP, which is the other surprise, is that 
Esmeralda is going to try and get her hands on a cow plant because cow plants, if you grow them and look after them, you can actually kill Sims with them. So she's going to try and get the cow plant to lure in, uh, to lure in Lionel. And you know what? If the cow plant kills a Sim, then that Sim is Cassandra here yet. By the way, if the cow plant, oh, there she is. Um, complain about bills oh that's cute they're friends is she an adult yet yeah they're both young adults um but yeah if a sim dies via your cow plant you can then drink this life elixir from it which makes your sim remain young so esmeralda's thing is she wants to be young and beautiful forever and be wealthy so she's going to try and drink the life uh, from the cow plant that Lionel has left. So it's pretty messed up if you ask me. Anyways, the girls are just hanging out. We will have the proposal from Lionel and Esmeralda, I think, in this part. So let's go somewhere romantic. We'll get Lionel to ask her out on a date. Let's actually dress him in something nice, uh, change outfit into... Let's do formal, actually, and he can surprise Esmeralda and be like, get into your formal wear. Uh... uh Baby's crying again. My gosh. Wow, my game was so laggy just then. I feel like Arya and Laurie might begin to really... Let's get her to work hard. Uh, might begin to look after the twins a lot too. We'll bottle feed. Change diaper. Bounce. Oh my gosh, she looks like such a butler right now carrying that drink. <laughs> okay, so Esmeralda's looking... Very beautiful. She's like, oh yeah, I am now rich. <laughs> I'm gonna marry a rich man. Okay, so let's brighten day. And then we're gonna ask her out on a date. Oh wait, we haven't broken up with other lady. We might just ask her to officially be his girlfriend before we propose. That might help. Which, I mean, everyone already knows, but... Can you have two... <laughs> let's make it Facebook official by taking a photo and posting it. Uh, let's see, what does... Does, does, does that mean Lionel is... Oh my god, Lionel has two girlfriends? You can do that in a sim? <laughs> that is crazy. Oh my god, the other one's crying now. Was that the same one or the other one? Just get them to look after them. I kind of want Esmeralda to wear gloves. Uh, a lot of you guys said that too. So let's get her to... Quickly go into her walk-in wardrobe. And we'll actually add those... Uh, to our outfit and then we'll go out somewhere romantic and he can propose. I can't believe he can have multiple girlfriends. That just seems so bizarre. Girlfriend. And then Jean is his girlfriend too. Hmm. So he never really properly broke up with Jean so that kind of sucks. Oh look at her walk down this beautiful hallway in her beautiful gown. Wow. Okay. Let's just pop those gloves on. We'll go black gloves. This was actually an idea that a lot of you guys had. Having a little bit more Earl Grey tea. Twins tea time. I like that. <laughs> Hashtag twins Queen tea. Queen <laughs> Esmeralda is quite beautiful, I think. Uh, well, at least I think so anyway. I can get these. Matching blue gloves, black gloves, I think. Or oh, white gloves. I think I've got to go with black. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Uh, and yeah, the cow plant, you either have to get your gardening skill up or you can go fishing to look for it. Or if we actually really struggle to find it and we can't get our gardening skill up in time, then we can, I think... Yeah, but you can actually get it from by debug mode, but I, I want to try and get it through the gameplay rather than just cheating for it. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm so sexy. 
All right, travel or oh, ask on date Esmeralda. Adelaide Cardwell. Oh, did she age up? Was she a teenager? Hmm. Anyway, Esmeralda. I like how Cassandra's just hanging out. Okay, uh, let's go on a date. Where's a really nice... I wish we could travel... Mm, we could go to Willow Creek because we don't usually go there. Or we could travel to the juice bar but go for a romantic walk along the, um, the water side and then he can propose there. I think that'll work quite well. Oh, look, feeling sick. Recover fast by drinking tea and orange juice. I did not realize you could do that in The Sims. I like these little tips. Uh, they're really helpful. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, she's like, oh, you shouldn't have, Lionel. You shouldn't have taken me to this really not that impressive juice bar. Who is here, by the way? Adriana Hart. I love that lady. Okay, let's walk over here. Uh, where's the water? Where Where is the water's edge? Oh, here. Right. Can we actually walk all the way to here? What is that? Wild carrot plant. Oh, we need to interact together a little bit before they can walk together. So let's go. Ah! No, don't go over there yet, Lionel. Let's do a passionate kiss. He definitely has a look that he likes, I think. Could be a Spencer King Lewis. Oh! <laughs> lovely, lovely. Uh, Alright, maybe let's go over to here together. Speed that up a little bit. It's quite late. He's going to be proposing very early in the morning at night time, which is... Nice, she's hungry. He didn't feed her on the date, which is a big no-no, but she doesn't care. She knows what's coming. Chilo, um, let's caress Cheek. And this is, he likes to propose under the moon because he's into astronautical science. Oh, she frustrates me so much. She's so fake. Talk about new app. Um, maybe kiss hands. <laughs> and profess on like express fondness mm, promise to dedicate song let's say I love you forever I want you to be my everything now we're having kids together even though you forced me to Galimbo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's so. We don't like Mesmer Esmeralda. Mesmeralda. He's mesmerized by Esmeralda. All right, here comes the proposal. She's like, oh, Lionel, how could you? <laughs> oh, she's so happy. She's going to get all of his money. Oh, gosh. Oh, you guys. He's going to call someone. He's texting the girls to tell them the good news, and they're going to be like, oh, my gosh. Well, these two can stay out for a little elope immediately. Oh, she should be like, let's elope immediately. Yeah. Oh, no, we won't do that. We'll plan a wedding event, but she'll be like, yes, I want to do it as soon as possible. All right, well, these guys can um, have a passionate kiss. And we might switch back to these girls um, while those two continue their date. But they're, they're engaged. Let me know what kind of wedding you think they should have. What kind of wedding would Esmeralda want? Where would it be as well in The Sims 4? Would it be, like, would they elope or would they be in a chapel or, like, I don't know. Let me know. A garden? 
or an extravagant wedding at home. Okay, so Laura's back home from work. How's her work going? Petty thief. She, okay, she needs to get more mischief interactions. She needs to be playful when she goes to work. Uh, let's then troll the forums, because that'll get her mischief up. Well, we need to pay our bills, so we might get Laurie to do that too. Actually, before we do that, maybe Laurie can have a bit of a friendly chat to Arya, who's drinking OJ, which is so Arya. Uh, and maybe they can start becoming friends because they realize that Esmeralda is marrying their dad and they both think it's for the wrong reasons. So we'll just ask about Arya's day, which will be weird because they never really <laughs> ask about each other's days. Oh, we have plants coming through here, which I might get rid of. Love that freeze. There we go. Because I know that was annoying some of you guys. <laughs> Niles is like, oh, girls, you should be happy for your parents. <laughs> He's so funny. He's got like his simpsapolitan. <laughs> <laughs> made by himself for himself. Arya is saying she wants to speak to Laurie in private and to follow her. Let's go over here. Away from Lionel. Away from Niles. <laughs> I was going to say Lionel. She's like, meet me near the, what is this? The telescope. At 3.30 in the morning. Oh, she's sad. She's sad from missing her family. Yep, she's sad from missing her sister. And someone said Arya was, like, overweight. No way. She's got awesome, like... I love her thighs, actually. She's not overweight at all, I don't think. Uh, let's brighten day and see if Laurie is nice. It's like, oh, thanks. <laughs> Reveal brilliant invention. We'll just find some common ground. <laughs> Give her a heartfelt compliment. She says she actually does really care about her and she thinks they maybe they should start discuss some interests and then stargaze stargaze together oh no we'll hug let's hug it out oh my gosh this is exciting if they can actually hug it out oh the twins made up flatter it's gonna take a long time to get their relationship back to like just a standard okay so I'm just going to work on it a little bit right now. But this is really nice. I feel kind of like, oh. <laughs> it's funny when you get so attached to your Sims stories that you think they're actually legit. Uh, okay, let's bring Lionel here too. They need to go to bed. And go to sleep. She can go to sleep. Stop going. No, no. You need to learn to go. Oh my gosh. He's always trying to. He like wants the sisters to not get along because he doesn't want them to ruin his plan. He's like, uh oh. It's really weird how he does that. Uh, okay, let's get Esmeralda. I feel like Esmeralda would want a bedroom makeover. can sleep in there. Oh, did I just do the same? Oh, my bad. What's he doing? We might get Esmeralda to sneak out and actually look for, for cow plant stuff maybe uh, in the next part and then the following part we'll do the wedding. Make it official. Hopefully we'll have the cow plant by then or at least be growing it. Um, all right, these girls really need to... Arya's still got work only in two days, so we'll put Arya to bed. The baby twins look okay. 
sleep. All of you guys wanted Arya's bedroom changed back to all the pastel colors and whatnot, so we could do that. Uh, Laurie, bedtime. Use the toilet first. You want to get her to bed? No, Niles. <laughs> Everyone wants Laurie's bedroom because it's the most comfortable. Here is Ambrosial beverage. Drinks this good or what life is all about? I, I just then was thinking about the Ambrosia. Um, it's like it keeps your sim alive. Anyways, he can go to bed. He's little in his little dungeon bedroom down here. <laughs> oh dear. Um, all right, Laza. Oh, actually, just to finish up this part, I do want to cut her hair. <laughs> I know some of you guys will be like, no, Deli, what are you doing? <laughs> but she's going to have shorter hair, okay? We can grow it back long if we want to, but I just feel like she needs a bit of a change. So, um, we'll, we'll do it short and we could go, that one's pretty cool. Or oh, what's the other one? There's this one. It's just the simple one. She looks pretty nice with her hair back in a plait. And don't worry, it will grow back because I know some people are like, no, don't change the Sims hairs. <laughs> I think the first one I really like, oh, well, it's this one. I'm not as big on this one though. I think she's already done the purple thing in her hair. So we're going to go with that first one. Um, like that. And then in terms of her actual appearance, she's gone like really kind of, oh, <laughs> she's got long hair for one of our outfits. Oh dear. Uh, wait, 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 let's go up. Where did it go? This hair came with the Sims 4 Get to Work, by the way, if you guys were wondering. Um, but yeah, I think, I think now that she's a bit older, it kind of suits her look gonna get rid of this outfit because I'm just sick of it so we'll get rid of that she can wear the more hippie-esque kind of stuff oh we could actually have it sometimes in this bun on top of her head for being quite alternative I might actually put these in uh I might actually put her in heels for this one because just to make it a bit less intense the sleeve does take a lot away oh we've got to change this hair too or else it won't make any sense uh, where are we where are we oh just has a hat on there we go formal wear is fine every day is fine excellent Okay, guys, well, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon.